so cold <laughs> to paint. I don't know how you guys do it. You know, like back in the days, like I think I can, I can say it. Like back in the days, we have kind of a, um, I don't know how to say. Like, you know, we were painting, like, in the most, uh, like, scary temperatures, like, minus 30. You were like, okay, tomorrow will be minus 30, so we can go outside and do, like, a big production, you know, with the guys to show, to, like, to everybody that we can we can handle it, you know, so yeah. we can do it. So, whether it doesn't matter for us. So, yeah, uh, that, that was crazy, you know, that was crazy. We are not doing it, again, uh, doing it anymore. Because it's dangerous. <laughs> it, is it? It is dangerous, right? I mean, that is one hell of a um, of an of an obstacle. The temperature, especially when you're going out in the dark at night. Yeah, you can leave your fingers there, you know, near the wall, easily. Killer Killer podcast. Killer Killer official dot com. Street culture TV. Instagram UK Frontline. Beatbox created. Killer Killer. And we need to talk about world music and street culture. Killer Killer Podcast. Yes, people, Killer Keller here, live and direct, central London, or as central as you need to be, choose to be, want to be, you don't want to be anywhere else. Um, big shout out to all the sharers and carers. Subscribe, get involved. We're talking international street culture right here. And if you want more, you know what to do, get on the Television app, free download for iPhone and Android. Just hit that button, download, and you can consume it as much as you like. Inside the house, we're heading straight to St. Petersburg. Russia to be precise. We're about to take it the long way around in the world of street culture with a gentleman that embodies not only the culture as a whole, but more specifically trains, countless trains, countless b-boy events, countless participations, countless heavy artillery TAD MDR. Trun is in the building. How are we doing, Jen? Uh, cool. Thank you. Thank you. I'm here. <laughs> Serves you very right. <laughs> I'd love to be there, but yeah, I'm here in St. Petersburg. Big up St. Petersburg. Yes, definitely. I'm really good. We have really nice weather, so it's not, not like usual September time. I mean, so uh, everything is cool. We have like plus 23 now today. Wow. And like you can still paint on the street easily. but. Uh, to tell the truth, I spend a lot of time in my studio, so the, the weather it, it doesn't matter for me. <laughs> I'll say this much, um, and it's something that echoes the touring I've done out in uh, in Russia. Uh, firstly, I, I love St. Petersburg. Me and St. Petersburg are really good friends. I've, I've got amazing experiences there. Um, World of Drum and Bass back in the day, at least two or three times. But um, for graph, for graffiti, I really salute the graph writers in those crazy drop temperatures, so cold <laughs> to paint. I don't know how you guys do it. You know, like back in the days, like I think I can, I can say it, like back in the days we have kind of, a, um, I don't know how to say like, you know, we were painting, like, in the most, uh, like, scary temperatures, like, minus 30. You were like, okay, tomorrow will be minus 30, so we can go outside and do, like, a big production, you know, with the guys. To show, to, like, to everybody that we can we can handle it, you know, so yeah. we can do it. So, whether it doesn't matter for us. So, yeah, uh, that, that was crazy, you know, that was crazy. We are not doing it, again, uh, doing it anymore. Because it's dangerous. <laughs> it, is it? It is dangerous, right? I mean, that is one hell of a um, of an of an obstacle. The temperature, especially when you're going out in the dark at night. Yeah, you can leave your fingers there, you know, near the wall, easily. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah. Because we have. No, like... hold on. It, please, please explain that. Explain what you in more detail. 
Okay, so you know we have like really I don't know how to say it in English uh, humidity. You know、mm-hmm. what is humidity? So、uh, the percentage of humidity is very big here. So for example, minus fifteen here is just the same as minus thirty in Siberia. Wow. So if we have minus thirty here, usually schools are closed for pupils. Really? Cause, yeah, because it's like、uh, it's very very cold. Because we have sea nearby, you know, so like we just covered with water. So、huh. maybe that's the reason why it's so.、Um, yeah, and if you paint graffiti, you know that aerosol can is like under pressure. And、uh, when you use it in、um, like in frost, you can fill it with your hand,、Whoa. and you have to put it in like warm somehow because you know that you can you, you're just painting like for one or two or three hours, and then you realize that you don't feel your fingers, and that can be dangerous. Yeah, of course, because you get frostbite, and that shit can drop off quick. Yeah, <laughs> yes, <laughs> and you can quit with graffiti <laughs> forever. <laughs> yeah, yeah, may- yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe teach your、uh, left hand to do it. Yeah, and then lose the other finger, and you know, I mean, we we have five, <laughs> four. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah, but you know, we 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 just、uh, like we left it in the past because, like you know, we were like fanatics of graffiti, and we wanted to. Paint like、uh, you know every day because in two thousand seven, I was counting not so long time ago. I painted like two hundred seventy pieces in a year in two thousand seven. In a year,、so、it's like yeah. So、uh, I was painting like okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna do a piece here. Then I like just finished it and go the other place to do another one. Wow! So、I'm... that was my that was my idea. You know, I was like, okay, I want to do it, and I can do it because、uh, I have like everything to do it, and I was doing it、yeah. without any <laughs> fucks, just doing it. Yes, definitely. How many trains do you think you've done? Good question. You know, um, I know a lot of people here who did much more than me. Uh-huh. You know, but、um, I got some really nice panels. <laughs> but yeah, I just yeah, you do. Like, quit, <laughs> officially quit with trains. <laughs> Maybe ten years or like eight years ago. So I think that's where like, my. Th- it's, it's a difficult question. A difficult question. Yeah, of course. <laughs> and we did have a conversation before we started, of course, as we do. Yeah.、Um, and、uh, I think, in summary, we concluded that whether it's being on tour and doing different shows or being out painting, it's not so much the action and result. It's the it's the fun things in between that make these experiences rememberable. Yeah,、um, definitely. Sure. What I find most interesting is is how TAD was formed,、um, and how I don't know. I think I think the term monopolizing <laughs> comes into play if you know what that word means, because、um, you wanted to really take over. You really wanted to take take and take over and cover、um, a lot of ground. Yeah. Okay. So.、Um... I got this idea to create、uh, like a battle crew, you know, because it was the time when we had a lot of、uh, battle festivals in graffiti. So in two thousand seven, I had an idea to create a crew, which can show to like everybody in Russia who's the boss, you know. <laughs> But、mm-hmm. like for me, it was something local. I never thought it could like.、Um, How you call it?、Uh, spread, yeah,、mm-hmm. all over, because in two thousand eight we create TAD together with、uh, Waze,、mm-hmm. and、uh, the next year we won Right for Gold here in uh, uh, in Moscow, 
and then we went to finals in uh, Germany and we'll, we'll, uh, how you call it? Lose? Lost? We lost? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, and then we decided, okay, like, we can do it. We know how to do graffiti. Let's just, let's just keep moving. And yeah. we started to do a lot of stuff together. And then we uh, took two more guys, three more guys to, to the crew, like Truba, Pacer, and yeah. Kirill. Crazy. Uh, suddenly, like a lot of people just started to speak about us, you know, and, uh, I, I remember I got a message from Errol. Big up Arrow, by the way. Big up Arrow. Yeah, He's the connect way. Definitely. My He's brother. my big brother like, yeah. forever. Yeah. The real so, dog. um, <laughs> so, uh, I got a message from him and he said, like, I will try to, to, to uh, say it, uh, how he said it. He Good said, luck. like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Go on. <laughs> Okay, I will try my best. He yeah. said, like, thanks to you, like, you put Russia to graffiti map of the world. Yeah, you know? I'll go with that. So, and we were discussing it with him, and he said, like, yeah, we knew that some people were painting in Russia, but we never thought that it can be that kind of a level, you know, mm -hmm. because, like, he, when he saw what, what we were painting, he was like, okay, that's like, that's good. And, uh, we had this reaction and that, that was strange because we had a lot of reaction from abroad, but not that much here in Russia. Mm -hmm. I don't know why. Uh, so for example, I don't have like kind of a special interview in any kind of Russian magazine. Wow. You know, I don't know why. They never asked me to do it. They never asked anybody from TLD to do it. But I, I have like special, um, like interview in a lot of European magazines. Yeah. I don't know how it, how it works. <laughs> so. well, wait, hold on. So even if you did get the success of maybe, you know, a, a graffitism, um, or magazine yeah. of international coverage and it got re exported back to Russia. There was still no love from your place of origin. You know, I I can't uh, call it like no love. We we have really big respect here till now, right? But maybe uh, the guys who were behind the magazines, they were kind of they had maybe strange attitude to 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 our crew. I don't know. I never actually. Um, speak about it with somebody you know mm -hmm. so i was i was just like okay you don't want no problem we just keep doing it you know yeah it doesn't, it doesn't matter for us sometimes that fuels the fire doesn't it it keeps that fire going doesn't it yeah i mean i met one guy um he was like uh, the, uh, he was the creator of uh, urban roots magazine which is like one of the um, one of the best graffiti magazines in russia nice and he was like he was amazed you know like wow things you are doing it's like really really awesome but anyway mm -hmm. tad never got any kind of special interview for this magazine and that's Whatever. crazy man that is that's crazy as well when i think of your style tron um, the first thing that is evident is just the, the natural flow and, and just the, I guess the, cause it's like a real funk and sometimes the letters, they, 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 they almost like they become one merging kind of lodge of like movement and sometimes it, it it just there's 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 definitely a a russian style to it i do see that the influence i can see it it's just such a it's but it's so unique i, I just sometimes i look at your pieces and i'm like man the flow on that you know i wish i wish more people could do that because it's got a real look to it <laughs> thank you 
true. It's the truth. It's also like a funny story. You know, when I was, when I started to do graffiti, we had only, you know, that kind of, um, youth, uh, magazines, you know, with like fashion stuff and everything. Uh-huh. And they had uh, like two pages of graffiti. Yeah. And they, and they put really small pictures of like Cantu, Sweat, Atom, and whatever. Legends, and legends. We were, legends, definitely legends. Uh, and I was like, okay. And when you see that kind of a uh, size of a, of a piece, mm. you can't see any kind of, um, any kind of, um, perspective you because you don't know what it's i, I know what yeah you mean. i mean i mean that kind of a picture the piece on this picture looks like totally um like super quality you know like yeah. every line is in the right Sharp direction and everything fuck. yeah yeah and yeah. we were like okay if they do this we have to try our best to do the same mm-hmm. and we started to do uh, like we started to do really quality pieces like when it's almost like printed mm. that was uh, our like uh, main idea you know to make and it look we went, like there was no back spray it was just really tight yes and uh, when we went to europe for the first time i met kentu and i was like uh, checking his style and i found that you know, when he do lines, mm. sometimes these uh, these lines are not really perfect. Really? Yeah. And I was like, "What?" Because when you see this picture, yeah, you you can't see uh, uh, the um, uh, how you call it tightness. It's, it, you can't see the imperfections. Yes, you can see the imperfections. Yeah, but when I saw it like alive, I was like, "What?" But we already started to do that kind of, you know, super sharp pieces, like with super straight lines, because uh, I heard a lot like, man, do you use tape? How come that your lines are so uh, accurate, you know? Mm. And I was like, no, I never use it. I was just checking these small photos. <laughs> it's crazy. And I was just, I was just trying to make the same. And that's what I got now. <laughs> so that, that it's also a funny story. Mm, yeah very much so i think a lot of people fall short of the idea of well technology uh can also be deceiving and all of a sudden it's like skateboarders they try the trick on video camera 80 times or more and they only put the one that works once yeah but that to the person watching makes them do it to the point mm-hmm. that they only have to do it once. It's that yeah, sick. just like average, you know, just like, okay, that's my average trick. Yeah, yeah, when it's not, you know, but, but you know, it's technology, right? It worked for us because uh, uh, that, that was the only thing we could see about uh, abroad graffiti, you know? Yeah. Because we, we couldn't have any kind of information. I know one guy, his parents, they were traveling a lot back in the days to Czech Republic. Yeah. And they uh like they brought him a lot of uh books and magazines from uh from Europe and you know I was wondering like he was painting characters and I was like wow man that's amazing but then I realized that he was biting toast from Switzerland. Yeah, porno kids. Yeah. Man toast was a legend man and oh. he is a legend definitely. He, he was I, one. I, yeah. I, I never met him personally, but I was like, um, I was checking his stuff like a lot of time and yeah, he's, he's the king. He is the king, man. He's the king of characters as far as I'm concerned, bro. Yeah, definitely. Also Lumit, you know? Yeah. Lumit's Germany. dope. Yeah. These were the people that, um, that f- for our generation changed the idea of graffiti yes dime lumit yeah yeah definitely Delta and i'm before. lucky that i'm that that i met lumit a few times and you know he's a like amazing painter but also he's a really nice guy i mean like he can be my father you know 
due to his age. Yeah. But we were like speaking with him, like we, we just the same age, you know, yeah. he was super op open minded and, uh, we had a great time with him in uh, Siberia. And, um, the last time I met him in Frankfurt mm -hmm. a few years ago. And he was like, I'm making a wall here. Would you love to join me? <laughs> I was like, yeah, of course. <laughs> I would love to. <laughs> yeah. That's, those are the kind of invitations you want in your life. <laughs> definitely yes yes definitely because i was like when i was a kid i was checking his you know they they have this video effects yeah from from uh, united states absolutely when we got it it was like to southern like 99 to southern mm -hmm. and we would we were watching it like all the time in the morning before school in the daytime after like before you go to sleep, you need to check something and try to draw something from this video. And then you just meet Lumit and he's like, okay, you want to join? Come on, let's do it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Of course I will do it. That, that tells you, that tells you, that's, that's the universe telling you that you're on the right path, you know? I hope so. I really hope so. You know, there was another video back in the day that was very much like the effect. It had the effects thing. Um, do you remember Back Jumps video? I think so. Maybe it was not that famous in Russia, mm. but I think so. We have like two um, really important graffiti videos for Russia. First was was the effects crew. Uh -huh. And the second was Dirty Hands from Fresh Dirty Guns. Dirty Hands, wow, yeah. So that's the reason why we have this separation uh, in like legal writers and illegal writers because they were checking this Dirty Hands stuff and the other part uh, was checking uh, a fix uh, the video. I love so. that, <laughs> I love that. It doesn't get more two polar opposites if you could, do you know, that's crazy. I was checking both. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I think I think you did the right thing for longevity. <laughs> yes, definitely. <laughs> um, talk to me. Talk to me about uh, the train writing and what's what's the what's the process in you know from a Russian standpoint. You know, um, what are the what are the uh, obstacles in train writing um, in twenty twenty four? Do you think? Yeah, for the moment, it's much more dangerous to do trains because, you know, we have that uh, situation with um, um, Ukraine. Mm -hmm. So they, uh, like the guards, they have to check everything, like in the train yards, in the airports, everywhere. So we have a lot of guards everywhere, like even if you go like three or four hours out of St. Petersburg mm -hmm. to paint the train, you will find guards there. Wow. So now you can, now you can do it like only if you get luck. Wow. We do, you know people, do you know people that are getting, are getting lucky at the moment or do people not try? Uh, can you repeat? Yeah. Are there people out there doing it? And getting lucky, or do yeah, definitely. We we have a lot of people painting right. trains, especially in Moscow. Uh, you know, I was uh, um, I was trying to do it a few. Uh, it's not for the for the <laughs> for the record. I mean, <laughs> yeah. So uh, I was trying to do it a few times, uh, not so long time ago, and I couldn't do it. Right. Like you, just you just feel the car. And you have to run. You have to disappear from there. Wow. So for the moment, in St. Petersburg, maybe you have like 10, 15 minutes to uh, to do something. It's pretty a lot, I mean, but you never know what what will happen. This is the thing. You just, yeah. And don't try this at home, kids. This isn't. Uh, this yeah, is definitely. Just a little story, a nice little story, like cowboys and Indians. <laughs> yeah. Um, you've always been, to my mind, anyway, associated with break, breaking the breaking scene. You know, um, uh, top nine fanatics, etc. Like, do you, do you, do you, do you, 
do you work in accordance to the hip hop culture? Are you, you know, do you participate across the board? Is that part of the kind of religious aspect to to your part in the culture? Mm, no, that's a good question. Um, you know, I was like, um, I was part of Funk, Funk Fanatics crew yeah. for like 10 years. And um, of course, I know all the B-boys uh, in St. Petersburg and like all over. And you know what's funny? Like the second office from, from my studio, the creator of Top 9 is working there. No way. <laughs> yes, uh, we are not lucky because it's like 10 o'clock already. So he went home to his wife. <laughs> oh, shit. But I, I told him that we're going to, uh, we're going to speak with you. And he was like, man, I could, I could tell so many stories about top nine and everything. I will say, uh, later I will send you their video. I think it was like from 1997. Incredible. The first, like, yeah. The first, uh, original official, uh, video for like um, musical video it was they were uh, it was on mtv back in the days Whoa. and he was just he's working over here <laughs> he's That's printing right. t-shirts and everything like this so you all work in the same kind of building yeah he's just my neighbor right here you yeah. know that's that's i love that i, I just love that idea <laughs> yeah and he was like, he was uh, like, he was happy when he, because I uh, got this stu studio like two months ago. Mm -hmm. And when I came here, he was like, what? <laughs> Finally. <laughs> <laughs> Finally, we have someone we want to be around. <laughs> yes. Because I met him a lot of time. We were like, we were living in the same district in St. Petersburg. And like, I was meeting him. Uh, near subway all the time oh what's up how are you oh good it was, yeah everything is okay and now we're working almost together that's oh. so so dope what's what's the hip-hop scene like in st petersburg for you know because i'm talking from a place of privilege where, that i've been so i know what st petersburg and how i know how dope it is but for people listening what 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 is st petersburg's hip-hop scene like i mean actually I'm pretty sure nothing really changed from the from the time when you were here, mm -hmm. but it just got bigger. That's all what I can say. I mean, we have much more MCs. We have like super dope freestyle guys. Nice. We have like really really small guys, like seven, eight year years old. Uh, B boys mm -hmm. and they they just killing it you know I was like I was checking this guy I was like what are you doing <laughs> how Crazy. how can you how can you do it and uh, yeah any, anyway it's like we have some kind of development of hip hop here but you know um as I told you last maybe 2 or 3 years I spent more time in the studio with some kind of exhibitions and everything. So that means that I'm out of the street. Mm. You know, I can't see like um, what's going on there. Yeah, for sure. I know like everybody and we always um, like have connections, you know, we always speak about it, mm -hmm. but I w I'm not that active on the street anymore as I, as I was, as I was back in, back like in the days. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But I think this is, this is a story of celebrating, you know, because I was going to, I wanted to get into this, the subject of, you know, you getting into the gallery world, particularly, particularly from where you come, you know, integrity is everything, right? And mm -hmm. you, 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 very few people managed to make that translation, but you seem to have reasonably smoothly. Like, tell us that, how, how did you approach the gallery world? Hmm. You know, um, hard to say. I was invited a few years ago to take part in uh, like an exhibition. Mm -hmm. And 
I just sold everything there. <laughs> I don't know how. <laughs> Sounds complicated. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> so then I decided to try again and mm -hmm. uh, I got some kind of results from it. And like last year I had a personal exhibition. Mm which happened not in the gallery, but in museum, which is like level up, you know? Ooh. And uh, I, I was making like kind of like super big, not super big, like big canvases, like three and a half by like two and a half meters. Yeah. And, uh, you know, the, the, it was crazy because... Uh, wow. We, I got, I got like... 10,000 visitors per month, which is, which, uh, was the record for that museum. Hold on. 10,000 a month. Yeah. And you have to, um, I don't know the word. Anyway, there was, you have to pay for the end and to, to enter the museum, yeah. <laughs> you know, yeah. so it wasn't for free. <laughs> money no, no. baby <laughs> yeah it's like that 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 that's how museums work so okay they can i i never got anything from this uh entrance <laughs> wow, <that's cool. laughs> i would love to but so yeah it's uh, that was the like a big step for me because uh when i was working on this exhibition i realized that now I can understand what I want to show uh, uh, on the canvases, mm. you know, because like when I just started to do canvases, I was like, okay, what should I do? Should yeah. I put pieces on it or should I transform my pieces in some kind of abstraction stuff? And, uh, I couldn't even remember how, how, um, I don't know how to say it in English. Um, it was pretty easy for me, you know, to go from this, from the street from, uh, with my style and put it on canvas. Uh -huh. Like I was like, okay, that's, that's how I should do it. Yeah. And I just, I just continued to do it. And um, I mean, of course I'm working on um, development, how, how I can, um, transform it into something more more mysterious i guess mm -hmm. yeah, because, yeah abstract uh, more ab more abstract oh, yes definitely and uh, <clears throat> uh the last maybe five or six canvases i was painting with brushes which nice. i never used yeah, yeah i always used spray cans you know and this one you see here it's like made it's not finished yeah i see it this one is made with acrylic paint. And this one also. Yeah. Oh. And yeah, I see it. For me, it was like, wow, I can do it. <laughs> That's crazy. That's crazy. And I developed it also. So. Wow. And to but think, I, I mean, do you, you sold them all in the museum? You sold all your paintings in the museum? No, no. Okay. But to tell the truth, the price was really high for, like, for for this territory i mean for russia maybe they uh <clears throat> they sold um almost half of the of the canvases but not all that's the dope. exhibition that's dope though that's crazy and if they're getting ten thousand yeah. people in then that's got to be good yeah and my family <laughs> yeah. was really happy with it yeah what did your family think you know what do, you know this is the international you know uh spectacle of being in a museum you know and having a stuff like there must have been some doubt in the family that that must have disappeared <laughs> i mean uh that's a good question you know but my kids they just don't care about what what i'm doing i mean they they know that i do graffiti that i have some exhibitions and everything but they were like yeah whatever if somebody asked ask them like what your father doing mm. like he's a painter and that's mm. all you know mm. and uh, my wife she was like uh, she has um, uh like dancing bass bases oh right okay 
he was dancing uh, house, you know what is house style? Yeah. So uh for Crazy. like I don't know, since 2005, I guess. So she was oh. like pretty famous here in Russia. Really? And of course she like understand what I'm doing and always respect it. So from a creative point of view, yeah. Yes, yes. Wow, wow that's crazy. That's crazy. I, Successful was, family. Uh I hope so. And I was asking my kids like uh maybe you want to try to, to do graffiti and I was taking my uh son to make a piece because I know again Arrow he was taking his daughter everywhere. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and yeah, I yeah. was like, okay, should I try it also? And I I took him to do some kind of you know graffiti and he was like yeah okay just fucked up his jordans <laughs> and quit that was with enough. it yeah <laughs> and that was enough <laughs> <laughs> that's enough for me thank you here's your can <laughs> my trial yeah. my, my sneakers are fucked <laughs> um what do you what does you know, this is a real it's a, it's a it can be i don't want this to feel like a a tricky question what do the hardcore think of you being in the museums and the exhibitions from a russian point of view what do you mean hardcore you know like the train like, writers and the you know the more hardcore graffiti writers uh what they said you mean well, how do they feel oh. yeah i mean is is street they art were... a thing yeah i understand uh you know um I got a lot of respect from all the, um, uh, how do you call it? Um, I forgot the word again. The old school? Like the I, old... Yeah, I mean, uh, when uh, the opening, uh, how do you call it? The opening? Yeah. Ceremonies, when we had the yeah. opening, yeah. yeah. So I got a lot of people from train writing scene, from legal writing scene. Dope. From Dope. street art, and they were like, "Man, yeah, I will, I will, I will send you some videos Dope. with some uh, famous uh, Russian uh, train writers." They were like, "Man, this is incredible, so good." So, I know, I never had problems with them, with anybody in graffiti, because uh, I was happy to start doing graffiti a little bit earlier than most of the people who. Who, who who who's painting now so mm -hmm. i got respect automatically i guess <laughs> yeah 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 totally because you were yeah 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 you um you set the part you set the pace it's hard to explain i mean uh, as i told you i'm not that uh i'm not involved so much into this street life graffiti mm -hmm. but anyway after the exhibition Everybody who I met, they were talking on the like positive words about it, you know. So, so dope. I'm okay with it. Maybe I would love to hear some kind of man that was not really cool because of this, this, and this, but I never heard it. I mean, whatever. Is that is that a is this is this a Russian um way? Do they do do people say what they think? I mean, I'm you know, I'm only I'm only asking the questions. I I don't know the personality of the, the the country. Do they do do they speak openly on opinions? You know, I think we uh, we are similar with the uh, English people, right? But when we fight, we don't use knives. <laughs> only. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, <right>. <laughs> yeah, like if you want to fight, come on, let's do it. But never, no one. It's like very rare, rare when you see a man who uses knife. But yeah, I have like knives, you know, everywhere because I'm a big fan of this stuff. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. I, ne yeah. I never use it on the street, and I know that in England, a lot of people, if if you see fighting, probably someone will stab the other one. Yeah, that's that's. I that's heard a lot about it. Yeah, yeah, that's some <laughs> fucked up shit that's going on here, bro. Yeah. Trend. 
Yeah, it's a old. it's a trend that needs to stop. It's 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 crazy. But like, I think we are pretty similar because I can again I can say it because I met Errol a few times, mm -hmm. and when you speak with him, you can you just realize that the only difference is the language. Mm -hmm. That's all. Mm -hmm. Like he he can easily uh, live in Russia. Yeah. You know? yeah, 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 and no one will uh, ever realize that he is like foreigner. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It, because uh, when you when, when you meet like um, uh, like German guys here, mm -hmm. you can feel the difference. They are different because really? of mentality and everything. Yeah, but I I never I never uh, feel it with uh, like with. Uh, English guys. I mean, I, you know, Love Pusher from yeah. he's from London. That's right. He's he's all also part of TAD. Nice. And I when I met big him, up Love like, Pusher all day. Yeah, he's a, he's like really like awesome person. Yeah. And uh, every time when I met him, we were like we had the dopest conversation. Mm -hmm. You know, because he was he's so open minded, just just the same as Russians. Yeah. I mean. That's cool. Yeah, that's cool as fuck. And I love that you <laughs> yeah, cool. it, it is it's, it's super cool. Did do um because you mentioned a lot of German, Austria and Swiss um writers that you know, Cantu, Atom, uh Toast, you know, um, etc. Lumit. Was Germany a heavy influence on Russia generally, or were, you know, because was it, I mean, UK? Uh, it seemed like a light, a long way away compared to to Europe, even by British standards. You know, was there any other influences um, for you? Um, yeah, Germany had like the biggest influence. Mm -hmm. For Russians, you know, especially this Berlin style when you use standard, uh, belt and caps. Yeah. With yeah. this thin outline, you know, mm -hmm. like we have, we still have a lot of people who just trying to do the same pieces, like, like wow. super, super Berlin style. Mm -hmm. But maybe I don't know why, mm -hmm. you know, when I started, I never heard of English graffiti. Nah. The only thing uh, was, uh, anti crew. Yeah. But it was like illegal part, you know, yeah. and uh, I never, I never heard. But we had a lot of pictures from uh, German, German uh, guys like uh, Cantu, and mm. I don't know why, but they just somehow put their photos in the in these uh, magazines. Mm -hmm. There's a reason why we okay Cantu, okay Atom, like mm -hmm. five names for the whole country, you know? Yeah, 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 yeah it's crazy. That's that's strange. Yeah, it's strange. I think uh, NT uh, managed to translate, and just I think their operations were so much more wider than uh, you know. For starters, they they weren't from London entirely, so they they instinctively moved differently. But they just their operations were so wide. When you watch when you watch Terra Fabulous, the the DVD, you know they they're not staying in one country for long. They go everywhere. Yeah, funny thing, I never heard of this video. What? Oh. Can you imagine? That's the reason why uh, I don't understand how come that we had that that uh, influence uh, from uh, Germany, but not from England, for example. Wow. Man, have you seen it? Have you seen it at all? I don't. I don't know. I can't. I can't remember. I wow. think no. Wow! Either Arrow sends you a copy. I, I'll send you a link. We have it on my platform. Yeah, bro. Mm. Yeah, you're gonna love it. Yeah, they just move differently. I'm NT, sure. Yeah, NT were different, man. They 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 were just different. What's the future, my brother? What is the future, Patron? <laughs> Um, good question like, huh? <laughs> the yes, biggest definitely. question of them all <laughs> is the question uh, which I hear every time 
I got home. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, I don't know how to say. Like, uh, yeah, I paint a lot and uh, I will try my best to spread it in the world. It's been a pleasure, man. It's great getting to know you. Um, and big up Arrow once again um, and all the heavy yes. artillery crew. Massive respect. Yes. My family. Lead that. Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> front in the building. Killer Keller Podcast, Allah in was out of fashion. You know what it do. Sharing is caring. Tell a friend to tell a friend. Ah, friend globally. You tell a friend to tell a friend. Um, yo, big shout out to Tron. Hold tight. All of St. Petersburg, Moscow in Russia. We are like that. Take care of yourselves, people. Don't talk to anyone. I wouldn't. Peace. Peace.